Welcome back. In this program, we're going to look at adding mouse click events to our JavaScript programs. In the last lesson, we saw how we could create basic shapes in JavaScript using our graphics library. We can extend our programs to add user interactions in the form of mouse click events. So what are mouse click events? Well, a mouse click event is anything the user does with the mouse, such as clicking, moving, or even hovering over a particular part of the screen. We can write programs to do different things depending on what and where they are doing it. So to respond to an event, we use what we call a callback function. A callback function is a function that gets called by our program in response to an event. When we use the mouse click method, we can specify a function that will run when the mouse is clicked. We are essentially linking or binding a function to a particular action. Here we can see the basic usage. We create a function that can have any name. In this example, we're calling it click handler. Notice that the function takes one input parameter, e. Remember, input parameters are, are variables that we have available to use in our function. We will talk about this variable in a minute. When we bind the function, we use the mouse click method command in the start function. Inside the parentheses, we pass the method name. Notice that the method name doesn't include parentheses or the parameter, just the method name. Now when the mouse button is clicked, the click function will execute. So what is this E? It is an input parameter, and like any other input parameter, we can use any variable name. The two most common names that we use are E and event. This parameter holds information about the event. The information we're going to get is the X and Y location of the mouse clicks. We can do this by using the getX and getY methods. So notice the syntax. We use e.getx with an open and closed parentheses to get the x location of the mouse click. Similarly, we use e.gety to return the y location of the mouse click. So let's take a look at a quick example of how we can draw a circle centered at the point where the user clicks. We're going to create a function to draw a circle. Notice that the input to this function is the parameter e. We create our circle with a radius of 20. Um, to set the position, notice how we use the E parameter with the getX and getY commands. Remember, the position of a circle is the position of the center, so we just use E.getX and E.getY for that location. So finally, in order to get this method to execute when the user clicks their mouse, we use the mouse click method to bind the draw circle event to that mouse click. So let's explore mouse clicks in the editor. Okay, so let's look at how we can write a program to have the user create a circle when they click, and that circle will be centered at that click. So we're gonna start by just calling our draw circle function. Uh, so, and I'm not gonna have any parameters in this. I'm gonna make this, this function. So function draw circle. Again, not taking any parameters just yet. Let's just get the circle working. So we're gonna say var, circle equals new circle and we'll say radius of 20 okay we're going to say circle dot set position and we'll give it a position let's say 100 comma 150 and we're going to add circle okay so let's run this okay you see we create our circle at 100 150 Okay, but it didn't have anything with the mouse click. If I click, nothing happens. It just created the circle on its own. What I want to do is I want to create the circle when the user clicks a mouse. So I'm going to add this mouse click method, which binds that function to my draw circle function. And remember, I don't put the parentheses there. I just have the one draw circle, I just named the function right there. I don't have any input parameters or anything like that. So if I run this now, notice there's no circle, but as soon as I click, I get that circle right there. And right now, I can click multiple times, it's probably adding more circles, but I don't see them because they're all in the same spot. 
So what I want to do is I want to change this method so that it actually puts a circle right where my click is. Now I don't have to change anything up here. Remember I don't add an E or anything like that there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add that parameter right there. So that E parameter in there. And now I want to change my position to use that position that I get. So if I want my X, I'm going to say E dot get X with an open and close parentheses and an E dot get Y with an open and close parentheses. So now I run and every place I click I get a circle and I'm centered right at that circle. And again these values E dot get X, E dot get Y just return a value. I could actually say E dot get X plus 50 and run that and you'll see that it's actually going to place my circle 50 pixels to the right. I can also change my circle color. I can say circle dot set color and say color dot blue. And now I will get blue circles to the right of my click. And that's it. It's your turn now to play around.